Welcome to another Ham Radio Networking Part 3 video. In this video, we're going to be installing DB Switch on a Debian 12 install. For this, we're going to be using the Raspberry Pi. And yeah, we're going to be installing DB Switch. I'm going to show you how to dynamically change your mode in Talk Group. So, oh, I want to do DMR, Talk Group, Parrot, then you can switch it. Or if I want to do YSF AmeriClank, then you switch it. So. I want to show you how to do that, and then there's a nice dashboard. Okay, so if you go back to my documentation, you'll see how to install and configure DB switch. This is by far the longest section. Um, so we're going to wget bookworm, we're going to chmod the bookworm and install, we're going to run the install, update, and install. Let's go ahead and copy this over. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Go ahead and do that, and that's going to run the package. Okay, so DB switch is done and took it a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get configuring DB switch. Okay, so we have all our necessary things here. Right here. Um, so let's go ahead and follow the instructions. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do our initial configuration. So CD zero, uh, user local DBS. This brings us to the DBS user. And we're going to run the DBS user menu thingy. So we are in English. All right, so we're gonna do the initial configuration. Hit yes. Put in all your information here. If you don't know what service is like in NX ID, just don't worry about it. US or port, we're going to leave it default. We're gonna scroll down three, and I'm gonna select Brandmeister 31204. I'm going to put in my Brandmeister password. Um, and we're going to use no hardware vocoder, software vocoder. Now, if you have a DB3000, go ahead and use that because that's very, it, it would make your experience a lot better. But for this demonstration, we're just going to use software vocoder. Hit yes. And it's processing it. So now we're going to go ahead and exit. Before we configure anything, let's go ahead and create a private node. You need a private node in order to um, be able to have DB switch connect. So we're going to hit node settings, all star node setup, add node, and we're going to enter node number 1999 is going to be what I use. We're going to hit none of the above, show all settings. So here we go, pretty simple. So we have 1999, no password required, no call sign set, radio interface. We're going to select that as USRP. And then duplex type, we're going to select that to zero, hit enter, and we're going to select half, just like that. So we're going to hit back. Yeah, you have to do that exactly like that. If you don't, you're going to have issues. So you want to hit back, back, and restart asterisk. Now to double check that this is working, we're going to go to our Almond 3 page. There we go. It took a second because we restarted. And we're going to want to double check that we can connect. So it says it's connected and it's established, which means it's good. So we're going to disconnect that for now. So we're all set to start configuring DB switch. So let's go ahead and edit our analog bridge. Pretty much you just need to make sure all your information, like your DMR ID is correct. And so under the general vocoding, make sure everything's set to true. AMB audio is like that. And we have our DMR ID, repeater ID, and then leave everything else default. Under USRP, we're going to change a few things. Our transmit port to 32001 and RX port to 34001, just like that. We're going to leave it at audio unity, which means I believe that's set to just one. If you want to change your audio level, go ahead and do that. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it like this. So now we're going to go ahead and change our MMDVM bridge file. Um, this is where you can change your... Uh, pretty much you just want to make sure that uh, everything's set up. So we have our call sign ID everything like that so we're going to go ahead and scroll down make sure all your modes are enabled they are and under DMR I'm not going to use Redmeister I'm going to use TGIF 
pretty much put in your Brandmeister or TJF or whatever information in here. Um, what you do want is change jitter to 750, just like so, and then go ahead and input your TJF password. Okay, now that you have MMDV and bridge done, uh, let's go ahead and run our basic commands to get everything started. So right here, that's our instructions. So we're going to first enable our bridges and stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and start our bridges. Now, from my experience, it does not want to work the first time. So what you end up have to do is reboot. After you reboot, it works. So we're going to go ahead and reboot for a good measure too. It's always good to do that when you may make major changes. Because it only takes around 30 seconds to get it rebooted. Okay, now we're back into our all-star link. So, we're going to go ahead and see if our bridge worked or not. I want to show you how to do this. So, we're going to go ahead and connect to... To do this, we're going to go ahead and connect our node 1 at 999. Execute. It's connecting. That's good. Connected node 1999. So we're going to run a couple commands, and this will confirm if everything's working correctly. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch our DB switch mode to YSF. So go ahead and copy that command, hit enter. Now, when you run that command and you hear a kerchunk, that means that analog bridge is set up correctly. So let's go ahead and connect to our YSF parrot. This is Kilo 0 November November Kilo testing YSF. This is Kilo 0 November November Kilo testing YSF. And yeah, it doesn't sound the greatest, but we can uh, you can play around with your audio levels to get it sounding good too. So right there we have DV switch set up and installed, but there's one more thing. We can have a nice dashboard. So if you want to do static links only, then go ahead. All you need to do is on your analog bridge, there is little talk groups. Change that to the talk group that you're going to want to use if you're doing DMR. If you're using YSF or P25, just set it statically. It's fine. If you set it just like this, it should be good. So now we're going to go over to DP switch mode switcher. Now this is the beautiful dashboard that we like to use in order to do basic talk group and mode switching. It's really, really nice. So the first thing that we're going to do, and I'm going to actually split screen this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run these commands. apt update install git and install node.js. That's what we want to do. Okay, and then we're going to want to change directory to opt, and we're going to want to get this repository. And we're going to want to, once that's done, we're going to change directory to that repository, and then we're going to install Node.js version 18. So just run these commands one at a time, just like this. Now if you say nvm install 18, and it installs just like this, and it installs good, then you installed um, uh, node 18 correctly. Now we're going to go ahead and use node 18. So we're going to copy our example config file and copy our talk group file over to where it's usable um, for node.js. So we're going to now npm, this is node.js stuff, so this is installing things that we need for our node.js program to run. So I'm going to install those and then we're going to npm i. And then now we're going to run our index.js file and specify our config file. And right there it's working so let's go ahead and go out to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do port 3000. That's what it runs on by default. This is your DB switch mode switcher. It's really, really nice. I want to actually zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. 
So in here we can select a mode. I want to do YSF. Takes a second. Get the chunk, and then it tells you it's switch mode to YSF. Now we're going to switch to Parrot, which we're already there. K0 and NK testing. K0 and NK testing. So you heard me. And now we can switch to other talk groups. If we want to do DMR, we can switch DMR. And then I want to do Parrot, so let's switch to Parrot. And now let's switch to Parrot. So let's go ahead and see what Parrot sounds like. When you hit Parrot, it'll chunk back at you because it's a Parrot. Kilo, zero, November, November, Kilo, testing DMR Parrot. Kilo, zero, November, November, Kilo, testing DMR Parrot. And there you go, DMR Parrot. Um, and you can do any mode. D star, you need a DB3000 chip for it to work. I mean, it'll work by itself, but you're going to make people mad because you're going to sound terrible or you won't get through it all. You can receive a little bit on D star, but it'll sound terrible. P25 um, sounds interesting. It's not the best. Well, we will switch mode to P25 really quickly and then do a parrot test to show you what it sounds like. One, zero. And we see that the P25 talk back to those. K0 and NK, P25 parrot. K0 and NK, P25 parrot. Yeah, it doesn't sound quite the best, but it's still usable, I guess. Um, but there you go. And then you can change your talk groups just like this. So you're, uh, you select your mode. You want YSF talk groups, P25 talk groups, D-Star talk groups, NXT and talk groups. You can change them all here. For DMR, you just put in your ID and you name it. For YSF, um, it's a little bit tricky because of the way that DV switch uses its YSF. Um, but all you need to do is uh, go to the YSF registry. And then if you want to connect to, let's say, Alabama link, you copy the host file. So if I want add, Alabama, I'll add talker. Copy the host file, and then you have to do port, and then it has its port, so port, so port 40, 2000. And then I'll name this Alabama link. So that's how you do YSF. DMR is easy, you just put in the talker number. If it's a private talker, you need a hashtag. So add talker for YSF. No, delete. We want to save this. So now our talk groups are saved successfully. For P25, you input the TGID. For D-Star, it's, ref it's a reflector, your number, and then C. Um, and then usually you put an L after that. For NXDN, you just put in your talk group ID. Um, pretty, pretty simple. And then after you're done, you just select your mode again and your talk group. And you also have light and dark mode as well. I prefer dark mode. So that's how you uh, can, uh, install DB Switch. Um, now let's go ahead and make this a bit better. So we're going to CD op DB Switch mode switcher. We're already there, and we're going to go ahead and copy over this service file. This is so it'll run constantly in the background. We're going to reload the daemon, and we're going to enable and start. And let's uh, see what the status is. And we see it's active running. So if we reload, we say that's working. So let's go ahead and connect. And we see it's working fine. So uh, now this will all constantly be ran in the background. That's weird. But um, anyways, that crashed. I had a bug there, but. That is how you install DB Switch and the DB Switch mode switcher onto your alternate. At any point that you want um, to do DB Switch, you may make sure you're connected to your private node. If you're not connected to your private node, you will not get um, your DB Switch information. You won't get anything connected from DB Switch. And if you don't want DB Switch connected up, so you're connecting up to like a ref big reflector and you don't want to 
cross-linking, then you just hit that X and you disconnect it from your node and then you can go connect up to something to like the East Coast Reflector or whatever. So this is the conclusion of the part three series. We learned how to install all Starlink all the way up into getting DB switch and the mode switcher installed. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. And please like and subscribe if you like the series because I took time out to make this video and uh, configure this because I, what I did is I did this all by myself and then I redid it all because I ran into issues, I fixed my issues. So I just ended up redoing the entire thing just for the video. So 73, please like and subscribe. Thank you.